Good news, everybody. I figured out how to solve this puzzle. It turns out I totally forgot to pick up some extra items here. Yep, the funnel and the can. So those were the uh, two items I needed in order to solve the puzzle. So now that we have those, let's fill the fuel tank. We have to go to the exit door. And then we turn. It's not incredibly obvious that you can make a turn here to the fuel tank, but you can. So how do I turn to the fuel tank? Okay, there we go. We do a double turn at the door for the fuel tank. So fuel uh, funnel goes here. Fuel itself goes here. Excellent, excellent, excellent. So now that it's been all fueled up, it, it's got some kerosene, we can use the controls, which are to the right of the cable car. So the controls say we need to flip all those things up and then um, this one right. Correct? Okay, all those up. Fill the fuel tank. Uh, this one left. Is that it? No, that's not it. Okay, we keep going. <laughs> hmm. Maybe we need to flip all those down. And this one to the side. No? There we go, okay. Isn't that exactly what I did? Just flip them all up and push the right one to the right? Okay, whatever. Everybody's in now. Hooray, we have power to this thing. Okay, so uh, how do we work this one? Uh, I don't have instructions for that one. We go up. Okay, simple enough. You press up to go upwards. Oh no, ice on the lines. Crash. Crash, 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 crash. It feels like I should be hearing something right now. Um, why am I not hearing? There has to be a way past the ice. Okay, okay. We have to pass the ice. Go back. Go back and go forward again. It seems very dangerous, but uh, Colonel Mustard thinks it's a good idea. I'm not sure that makes it a good idea, though. I, I think that maybe makes it a terrible idea. <laughs> Let's go forward again. to escape and go back to the yacht. Everybody, I think we're stuck here. Oh my gosh. Did no one put out the fire? Why did we not put out the fire? Why did we just let the cable car go all the way back? That is terrible. That is a terrible idea. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we made it to the third section of the game. The cable car section was a lot shorter than the, the first section, uh, you know, inside the yacht. Hmm. Wonder why. So, I switch CDs, and let's go. I wonder why it says retry, because it's not like I tried and failed to put in the CD. Okay, here we go. Let's check, let's check out the fabulous Chateau. I would rather be here during a snowstorm. This seems like the safe place to be. 
Actually, no, it looks old and cold. I'm not sure I like it. I do like those statues, though. And why am I checking out these doors? Ah! Oh! Everyone's oh. here. Nice of you to show up. It seems Musk didn't exactly invite us randomly. He left six of us a note. Turns out we all share something. A riddle giving a clue to a jewel hidden inside this castle. If we find them, the dead man promises to appear. Strange, hmm? Hurry and solve those riddles! To celebrate the new year, I will perform my escape from death trick. I must escape before the stroke of midnight. Okay, so we need to find six jewels because... Wow, that's strange. Okay, so if we solve the six riddles, we get six jewels. If you find the wine cellar in this little shack, do let me know. I'm just wondering why Green walked off. I, I have no idea why. So, uh, okay. Well, let's talk to Mrs. Peacock. What riddle do you have for me to solve? How did you get your riddle? Yeah, was it just lying uh, on your dinner plate? It was a birthday present or something. Okay, that is extremely vague. Do you know how I can help the others? Aren't you nosy? I'm helpful. Mrs. Peacock, I'd like to help you figure out your riddle and find your jewel. Sorry, I think I'll keep that to myself. Oh. Huh. Never mind. Let's try green, then. Green, we're kind of friends. Some spot for a party, eh? Not really. So, do you, like, not trust everyone here? I wouldn't trust Scarlet, though I'd love to, uh, get to know her better. You should not be flirting with Miss Scarlet. She's my best friend, not yours. Mrs. White seems pretty jumpy. Maybe someone here could help calm her down. Oh. Well, I guess I could start with Mrs. White's riddle, but what about your riddle? Certainly. I'm having no luck myself. Here it is. Take the cold of night in a box that's sealed tight, on a shelf dotted with glistening ice. Find the jewel that makes you look twice. Good hunting. And let me know what you find. I sure hope that's written down somewhere, because I will never remember it. Certainly. The cold I'm having no night luck myself. In the box. Here like it is. A box of coal, maybe? Take the cold of night in a box that's sealed tight. Or snow. On a shelf dotted with glistening ice. But it's on a Find snowy the jewel shelf. that makes you look twice. Good hunting. And let me know what you find. Yeah, I've absolutely no idea how I'm going to solve that riddle. Hopefully, it's written down in my notes. Hopefully. Let's take a, take a look at the notes. Oh, come on, notepad. You're not being helpful. Not in the slightest. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so this is a log in the fireplace. It looks like something was left burning. What's this? It's a picture of uh, Ian. It's the victim, and he's got some sort of snake tattoo hmm somebody tried to burn that picture doesn't look like i can check out anything else here also looks like the picture reappears automatically whenever you turn uh oh oh dear i do like the glittering yeah that, that chandelier was pretty fancy looking and if i turn right this is a cupboard what do i have here no, no, don't shut the cupboard. I was trying to see what we have here. Hmm, looks like a Ouija board. Huh. Okay, well, it doesn't look like it can examine any of the other things. And the player refuses to look at it, so... I guess I can't use it. Alright, so is there anything else in this room? It looks like there are several people in this room, but not any more. Yeah, it's just Mrs. Peacock and Mr. Green here. Let's check the other rooms. I, I guess 
Wow, this looks like a giant area. So we get to explore here, hopefully find some things and solve some puzzles. Many secrets a lion's mouth may tell. Ooh, we're totally having a puzzle with this lion. I can feel it. So I want to look towards the main doorway, but apparently I can't. Deadly weapons. That doesn't look useful. This doesn't appear to be useful. I don't know. You might want to protect yourself. Yeah, so can I go through every single door? Is every single door uh, a place? Oh my gosh, this looks terrifying. That is a giant spider. This this looks incredibly dangerous. Hey, Earth, Earth, are you... I guess he's too busy practicing. This controls the electric chair. That's his escape from death trick. Oh no, Earth, I do not like this. I do not like this at all. And maybe I can talk to him from this angle. Nope, I cannot. Okay, let's zoom in. Is that guillotine on the other side? That looks incredibly dangerous too. What a spot for my illusion, eh? Just wish Mask was here to see it. Poor Mask. This does look super duper dangerous. Did you get a riddle? All I know about are illusions and effects, my friend. I guess he did not. He's not one of the six. I'm going to guess the six that got riddles are the uh, the six characters from Clue, uh, the game. Mask promised to help me with certain financial matters while my estate remains frozen by the courts. But, more importantly, Mask had talked of some artifact that he foolishly believed had incredible power. I don't believe in any of that nonsense, but the artifact would have been well worth helping him sell. Hmm, hoping to steal his valuable artifact and sell it for money. Love magic, eh? Here, try this trick. It's perfect for New Year's Eve. What is it? See this 1939 calendar? Yeah. In your mind, make a square consisting of three by three boxes on the calendar. Let's do now, this. tell me the lowest number on that square. Here, I'll write the answer down for you. Let's go a seven. I will now tell you the total of your square. It's 135. Oh, Go okay. on, check it. It's right. Here's how you do the trick. Show the calendar. Ask the spectator for the lowest number in the 3x3 three three square. Then, simply add 8 to that number. And multiply by 9, and you have the total of that 3x3 three three square. It's math. When you're ready to do the trick, you can use the calendar. So that's not magic. That's just math. That's just math. So I found this old photo. Why? I don't know. It looks like the victim. Can I try out the magic trick? Good idea to practice it, my friend. It would be good to practice it. Okay, so add 8 and multiply by 9. Gosh, um, I have to actually remember how that magic trick works. This... This seems complicated. 